In this slide, we will cover the topic of what is a data architecture. The data architecture discipline addresses both the technical and management issues to help an organization meet its data-related needs. A data architecture, on the other hand, depicts the structure and relationship between, between an organization's logical and physical data stores. This data architecture is important because due to the immense volume of the data in an organization, it needs to create specific rules how to store the data, how to secure it, who can access it, etc. All such is driven by the organization's overall data architecture. Accordingly, a data architecture is an essential component of the cloud solutions architecture that a solutions architect works on. This illustration shows a sample high-level representation of an organization's databases and the relationship between them. Uh, let's go over some points re related to what the data architecture is and its role in the overall solutions architecture. As we had covered earlier, a data architecture is a critical component of an organization's overall enterprise architecture. If you recall, the other components were the application architecture, the business architecture, and the technology architecture. So the fact that the number of data sources and data elements in, in every organization is increasing necessitates overarching policies, rules, models, etc. to ensure that an organization not only has the right control on that data, but also it can strategically benefit from this data. All these policies, rules, etc. fall under the umbrella of the organization's data architecture. As we will see in later slides, the data governance part of the data architecture addresses those areas. A data architecture also shows in detail all the data flows between various data sources and data stores of an enterprise. A holistic view of this data can help optimize the flow of data traffic and can also help address any security issues with the data. The data architecture shows the flows between an organization's data sources and flow of all data inside and outside the organization. A data architecture establishes a common vocabulary about an organization's databases. This vocabulary covers processes and business use cases as well that depend on this data architecture. Having a common vocabulary helps all an organization's users and management to communicate more effectively about an organization's data and its uses. A data architecture also depicts all the interfaces between various data stores within the organization and also interfaces that may exist external to the organization. A data architecture takes into consideration all data storage requirements, use cases, and the use of data within an organization's distributed computing environment. For example, data may be stored on premises or on a public cloud, and there may be use cases related to batch or real-time processing, enterprise data warehouses, or solution-specific big data solutions, and so on. Here we should also mention how data architects work with solution architects. So while data architects work on developing an organization's overall data architecture, solution architects ensure that the specific solution and the organization's data architecture are aligned with each other and the organization's overall technology and business requirements.